How many grams of xenon difluoride will be produced if 10.0 grams of fluorine react with xenon, producing a 54% yield? So first, we're going to balance the equation. Xenon's a gas. It's a noble gas. And fluorine is diatomic. It's a gas as well. And we get xenon difluoride, and that's a gas. Simple equation to balance. We're going to start off with 10.0 grams of fluorine. Simple stoichiometry. We're going to change it to moles. I've written the molar mass at the top is 38.00 grams. Then comes the mole ratio, and we're looking for xenon difluoride. One mole to one mole of F2. And then we're going to convert moles of xenon difluoride into grams. And again, we have the molar mass up here, 169.29 grams XCF2 per one mole XCF2. Now the answer we get to the stoichiometric calculation will be the theoretical yield. Okay, so we always get the theoretical yield when we do the stoichiometric calculation. So the theoretical yield is 44.6 grams XCF2. We only have um, three significant digits. Now it says that the percent yield is 54%. So we're going to take this 44.6 grams XCF2, that's the theoretical, and we're going to multiply that by the percent. That is 54 grams actual yield for every 100 grams theoretical yield. Okay, so 54% means 54 grams actual for every 100 grams theoretical. Again, this is theoretical. So that's going to cancel. And we're going to end up with our actual yield. And our actual yield is 24 0.08 grams XEF2. And with two sig figs, that's going to be 24 grams XEF2. Now, just to prove that that is 54%, let's take the 24 grams XEF2, that's actual, and divide that by 44.6 grams XEF2. That's theoretical. That's what we got in our calculation. And multiply that by 100. And what we get is 54%. So that's a check that we got the 54% with the two sig figs. If you remember percent yield equals the actual yield over the theoretical yield times a hundred. 